before with 9.375 differential. It's something that's been forgotten about, but recently I made a mistake and I purchased a differential thinking that it was a 9 inch, but when I got it home, I realized it was a 9.375. Um, luckily, the 9.375 and the 9 inch share the same housings. On a 9.375, there is two places where they notched it to clear the ring gear, but that's it. The, the axle shafts and everything are the same. Um, the 9.375 is considerably heavier and considerably stronger. Uh, I hear that casing on them is a nodular iron casing. Um, it's just beefier all around. Bigger ring gear, bigger everything. Um, if there was more aftermarket support for them, I would totally use that. But of course, the one I have is a 2.80 gear ratio. And there's not much available for them as far as aftermarket support goes. So I'm sticking with a 9 for now. Uh, but if you ever run into one with the right gears and everything else, I, I would recommend keeping it. And if you find one out there with desirable gears like 350, 410... Maybe a limited slip differential. Pick it up, keep it, um, or even sell it to me. <laughs> I'd be very interested in it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.